your tablet as an Xbox companion, your iPad with Siri, Pixar and Temple Run bravely join forces, and Echograph, your new Cinemagraph creator, today on App Judgment. Ugh. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. And I'm Jackie Talbot. And everyone is off at E3 right now. Everybody, it's so empty here. The entire office. Of course, this is Surprise. the world's biggest video game conference. Yeah. Um, we are, on the, other, on the other hand, are stuck here at the office. Yeah, we're stuck here like losers, not seeing any of the cool stuff. Shut up, you're leaving on Wednesday. Except I leave tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're actually shooting this episode a little bit ahead of time because you're leaving. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. not actually the whole reason. But, okay. <laughs> it works. We actually have some app news to uh, talk about. Like, as we promised, we're doing some yes. more app news for you guys. And we're going to start off with uh, the biggest announcement today, today being Monday. Mm -hmm. And that is Microsoft wants to stream your console game to your phones and tablets Turning handhelds into Xbox Live companions. Which is great. We reviewed the Xbox, My Xbox Live app before for yeah. iOS, which is, you know, it was mostly the like communication things mm -hmm. and social features. But this is way more than oh, that. Oh, yeah. One of the video game companions was, uh, it looked like Madden, like mm -hmm. an NFL type game where you get to choose the plays on the iPad and, and take a look at some stats and, and you, you're, it's actually live while you're playing the game, which might get a little, you It's know, interesting, mm. but it's not something completely new with gaming. So I've been playing Wind Waker again lately, which mm -hmm. is a GameCube game for forever ago. Right. And they actually have you connect your DS to yeah. be as like a, you know, kind of companion thing. So sure. it's not like, this crazy new concept, but it's it's it adds such a weird new cool element well, that I, gamers I, obviously love. Yeah, well, it hasn't really caught on, but this might. Uh, this is called Microsoft Smart right. Glass, um, and it's supposed to work for Windows, Windows Phone um, on the Xbox 360, and it's supposed to support Android and iOS. So you're not just locked into like Nintendo's. Exactly. Um, There's not like a dedicated device, and yeah. that's where it becomes kind of. Awesome. Might be interesting. Uh, <laughs> over on Twitter, uh, uh, Cromson said, Red Ring of Death, now on my Windows phone. Good well played, one. sir. Well played. Good one. All right, next up in the news, yes. uh, Apple to bring full Siri voice assistant to the iPad with iOS 6. Yeah, so when you get iOS 6 with the new iPad, you're going to get Siri with it. We're going to get more information at uh, WWDC on June 11th, mm -hmm. but the interface is going to be the same, I guess, uh, sliding up from the bottom and you know, that's how you... Yeah, so as opposed to going full screen, it just, it's a little pop-up in, in the bottom. This is still uh, not for sure. Right. This is um, kind of a leaked information thing from a good source, according to 9 to 5 Mac. Um, but it looks like it's going to be legit. Uh, yeah. It's not known whether or not it's going to be on the iPad 2. I okay. think they're testing it on the iPad 2, but it might be a, an iPad 3 or whatever the future iPad device is. So it's a, you know, a little bit off. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? And finally, Imanji announces Temple Run Brave based on Pixar's film coming June 14th. And this is going to launch yeah. uh, at the same time as a movie, I think. They're, Brave is doing a lot of weird promotional things. They actually have a full-on console game coming out as well, yeah. like a week before the movie. Uh -huh. So this is, I mean, Temple Run is a cool game. I, I like it a lot. i got to be honest. I'm not a, the biggest fan of Temple Run. It's, you know, <laughs> I like run, it. You know what? Run, Just swipe and, and go psh, and... Psh, psh, psh. Um, like and you shoot bow and arrows a lot like the Hunger Games game. So that is came it going to be probably the same kind of gameplay? No, not really. I don't know. <laughs> uh, look, it looks cool. Running They're, arrows. It's a cool tie-in. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of, regardless of, of what the the uh, the game is or, or who the the partner is. I like seeing games being skinned by. Uh, yeah by sponsorships. Like <laughs> it's basically a sponsorship, right? Oh, it totally is. It's a marketing game. Come on. <laughs> it is. It should be cool. All it right. goes into ties in with the movie, so it does, we'll see. It does. Okay, we're here to talk about photography. Yes. Yes. Photography. Uh, specifically, cine cinemagrams. Now, I discovered these. There's this really cool website um, with uh, where they took scenes from movies and uh, created cinemagrams, which is basically a fancy word for GIF. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's just an animated GIF, but they're really sort of artful. It's something that looks like a still image, but there's one little element that's got subtle motion in it. Right. Or in, in some cases, not so subtle <laughs> motion. Depending on what you're going for, obviously. Right, right. We did a little something that's uh, not so <laughs> subtle. So with Echograph, they actually want you to use your high quality like cameras. actual photography equipment, right, <laughs> not right. just like and, your phone. And like CF card, can, well, I mean, you don't need to have one of these, but if yeah. you're out in the field and you want to create a, um, an echograph, let's just coin it as an echograph. It's an echograph. If you want to create an echograph, 
graph, um, you can do it on the field with one of these. Just yeah. plug it into your iPad. So you don't need your, it into your library. iPad with you though. Exactly. You can use whatever you like. Exactly. Yeah. Let's check out how it works yeah. a little bit here. Um, first, let's put their poster up behind us. Aww. So lovely. Okay, so so we're gonna tap on a uh, a sample clip. We're just gonna do a sample clip here. Yeah. You got a few options. Oops. You got a few options here. Um, these are all uh, videos recorded by the Echo Graph team. Um, so these come standard with the app for you to kind of play around with? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got a uh, dude throwing a coin in a fountain. You've got a uh, stream. Uh, looks like some sort of arcade with ski ball. All, all good times. All good stuff. We're going to pick this first one of uh, playing guitar in front of a campfire. So nice. You hit select, and then you pick a five second portion of this video. Mm -hmm. You just slide these around to refine to under five seconds. And that should do it. Hit the check mark. And then you can select a static frame. I'm going to choose this one because I want to keep him static, but I'm going to keep the fire going here. Hit the check mark. And now you've got this blue screen. Mm -hmm. And you just, I'm going to paint over the fireplace here, or just over the fire, just filling it in, filling in some more for some smoke. So you just want to mask out the part that you want yeah, to keep. Yeah, this is, this is your basic yeah. Photoshop masking here. Yeah. And I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Hit done. You got the choice here between lo-fi, uh, instant gratification to call it. <laughs> high def requires patience. We've got patience. Let's go Absolutely. high def. Can, why not? And let's just make on awkward conversation while this process so, is. So how, how, how is life? Uh, it's, it's good. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm doing things. I am also as well doing things, yeah. too. Yeah, we, we do a lot of things. Oh, look, boom. Oh, look, today. Oh, so and there it's is done. our echo So you can see it's the still that you set, you know, the beautiful part, and then you can keep the other part going moving. Right, and then you can go ahead and export these. You can mail it to yourself. You can share it through. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, Tumblr is all the typical sharing options. Which is great. You can also consider it for a staff pick, a graph, I guess, <laughs> that they want to do sort of the uh, uh, cultivating of, a, or yeah. curating of good Kind of have it be like a little bit of a discovery thing, like like a lot of social video and photo apps are doing now. Exactly. Yeah. But as you can see, I mean, the results are really, really cool. Um, yeah. We're going to create our own. We're going to get to some few pros and cons right. on this. Uh, but first, let's thank our sponsor. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Netflix is also available in the UK and Ireland. Wow. Yes. Our viewers there can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash AJ or netflix.ie slash AJ. And I know you European watchers make fun of the way we say the URL. We're all so the time. bad with it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you're know. smarter Tell than us. Tell us how are you supposed to say it? Isn't it dot co dot UK? Dot co or UK. Dot, uh, What's the problem? <laughs> All right, so back to you. Echo graph. Yes. Okay, it's really difficult to create a good uh, echo graph. Um, yeah. You have to be careful about uh, the loop that right. you're creating. Um, fire is good, like, like that example in there. Right. Water is good. But um, there's no ping pong looping. There's no... Uh, you definitely have to be, I think, more selective with the kind of content that you want to have, mm -hmm. you know, because obviously if it's, it's, if it's a naturally constant thing that's going to loop, more, you know, better than something that's kind of just like a one-time thing. Exactly. Because they don't really line it up that well. Yeah, yeah. So here's an example of an echo graph that we did earlier, and this is Jackie's yes. attempt at being a perfect looper. And I gotta say, Jackie, you suck. I suck at <laughs> natural loops. I'm sorry, guys. See the little head jerk? I'm just like too, you know, woo. Yeah, quick, <laughs> quick jerking of the neck there. Uh, see, that's one of the Pop problems with, with looping here. The, the beginning has to be the same as the end, and like I said, that's exactly why it's easier same. with fire and water. It's something, something that's, that's naturally, like, you know, going to Something kind of that's blend. chaotic, and, and you can't really tell where a cut is. Exactly. Um, this, is this is one of the, uh, the uh, creative problems involved with creating one of these. So it um, does take a little things. thought and skill. So yeah. Send us your, your cinemagraphs, yeah, your, your echo them. graphs um, on Twitter, on YouTube. So link us to something below in the comments. Can you put, you can't put You can't links link in, in YouTube comments. comments, but you yeah. know what? You can at reply us on Twitter. You Just can hit us go up on Twitter. Facebook. Facebook. Hit us up there. Yeah. All right. Look forward to seeing them and we'll see you later.